Mike Murphy here, and this is part two of a series I'm doing on ScreenFlow that's really just how to resize and make sure that you have the correct size for video. Okay, this is an important step, and there's two ways to do it. So I'm going to go through two scenarios, two different ways to make sure that you have the right size for publishing your video to YouTube, to your website, and what the end goal is here that we're trying to make a video that's 1920 by 1080. That's standard high definition today. Most videos on YouTube and all that are high definition. 1080p is what they call it. That is 1920 by 1080, otherwise known as 1080p. And you might also see 16 by 9. 16 by 9 is the aspect ratio. So when you see 16 by 9, usually they're referring also 1920 by 1080, otherwise known as 1080p. I know there's a lot of names to it, a lot of things, but just remember, if you see 10, 1080p, what they're referring to is the pixels of 1920 by 1080. Easy, don't overthink it, but that's what we're shooting for. Here's the dilemma. The here's the dilemma in ScreenFlow, especially if you're on like a you know a Retina display Mac like I am. It's recording my screen in its full resolution. My full resolution is 2880 by 1800. That's quite a bit larger than the 1920 by 1080p that we're looking for. So what happens is, is it's recording in this beautiful high resolution. However, I need to downsize it to the 1920 by 1080 in order to fit onto YouTube. So what do you do? Well, there's a couple things you want to do. So when we're done with our recording, we stopped recording, this is what happens. ScreenFlow opens up, it looks like this. The first thing I do before I do anything is I click on this menu bar up here and I change the name. This is, I'm calling this ScreenFlow Demo. And then I find a place to save it. Here's my directory, I have a demo folder. I'm gonna save it right here, okay? Do this step before you do anything because ScreenFlow will crash from time to time. So you want to make sure that you're always saving as you're going through. You don't want to lose your work. Trust me. Now, the next thing I do, I go to File, Document Settings, and I change this to 1080p. And you're going to see here that it recorded, this is my screen dimensions, 2880, okay? Quite a bit bigger than 1920. So what's going to happen is, what I recorded is bigger. So what do you do now? Well, you go over here into the video and you just scale it down. And because my screen is not perfect 16 by nine rec ratio, it's not gonna fit perfectly. And yours might not either, depending on the size of your screen. So what you do is you just kind of do, I'm holding the shift key to constrain the proportions and you just do a little dance. For me, I need that top menu bar to be visible, so that's more important to me than the bottom. Now, if this bottom thing has to come into play when I'm doing, you know, as I'm going through, if I really need this bottom for some reason, then I'll just move it up and I'll just do this little dance and I'll just be cutting and moving as I need it visible. I mean, for the most part, I need this top menu visible, so I'm gonna probably start with that. And there's gonna be times where you zoom in you know, where I zoom in like that, and it's not gonna be a big deal. So you're gonna be doing this dance back and forth, but the key is to go to this document settings before you do, you know, before you start editing and make sure you have the right size, okay? Here's scenario two. I left this off intentionally in the getting started, but you can actually do this step before you start recording, and that's actually the way I typically do it, if I remember. So in the configure recording screen, when you first started, remember the screen? Well, instead of just hitting the record button, before you do that, go to new document first. Then here, you can change it from screen dimensions to 1080p first. Hit the new, so you can see that again. Hit this little paper icon at the bottom after you set it. And that's going to open up this blank screen, which is basically this. You, we can change it to demo two. You know, in that same folder. It's great. 
just hit the enter key and now we have a working document so when I do so let's just pretend that we're doing a recording here so as I'm doing the recording we know it's recording because a little black dot I'm gonna hit stop and when it hits stop it's gonna say where do you want to save it and I'm gonna say I want to save to demo 2 so when it goes to demo 2 here's our recording it's already in there now here's the gotcha though just because you changed just because you changed it to 1920 by 1080 doesn't mean that it's not recording your entire screen. So you still have to format it, but what it's going to do is it's just going to remind you. I can't tell you how many times I've made a video, gone through the whole thing, edited it, only to realize that my document settings were at 2880, and then I get to the end of the video and I realize, well, this isn't going to work on YouTube. I need to resize it. So if you take that first little step first, Go to the configure recording and go to the new document. That's going to save you that aggravation of forgetting to change the settings. So hopefully you understand this. This is just a recap. Always change the name of the file size. If you didn't do that second step first, change the name of the file size, save it, save often. Make sure that your document settings are in the correct thing before you go through the editing process and then if you need to rescale accordingly.